Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for this afternoon's Junior Varsity Contest between the cast and comments and your Rochester Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups first for the comments. At guard, a five foot, seven inch freshman, number five, Drew McGrew. At guard, a five foot, six inch freshman, number 10, Reed Summers. At a guard, a six foot junior, number 20, Josh Evans. At a forward, a six foot junior, number 22, Max Summers. And at guard, a five foot 10 inch freshman, number 11, Carson Harness. The comments are coached by Chip Woodhouse. And now, let's meet the starters for your Rochester Zebras. At guard, a five foot nine inch freshman, number five, Brady Coleman. At guard, a five foot 10 inch junior, number three, Davis Reedy. At a forward, six foot two inch sophomore, number 30, Jonas Kaiser. At forward, 6'3", junior, number 12, Hunter Honkong. And at center, 6'2", sophomore, number 32, Grant Clark. The Zebras are coached by Sean Kelly. This afternoon's junior varsity officials, Eric Starber and Jeff Farrell. Jump ball possession remains with the comics. Evans, his first. Summers, his first, team second.
Zebra foul, number 30, Kaiser, his first. Comments call a 30 second timeout. Super foul, number 30, Kaiser, his second, team second. Now entering the common lineup, number 12, Gage Thomas. Zebra foul number five, Coleman, his first, team's third. Now entering the Zebra lineup, number 20, Connor Dunphy. Brady Coleman, his second, team sport. Returning to the floor for the comments, number 11, Carson Harness. Oh, 
Zebra shooting foul number 12, Hong Kong, his first at the line forecasting, Josh Evans. Returning for casting, number five, Drew McGrew. <laughs> Common foul, number 11, Harness, his first, team's third. Zebra foul, 32, Grant Clark, his first in the act of shooting, will send Josh Evans to the line. Number 12, Gage Thomas.
Zebra substitution number five, Brady Coleman. Zebra foul, 32, Green Clark, his second, team second. Returning for the Comets, number 22, Max Summers, and entering for the Zebras, number two, Parker Casper. Zebra foul, 34, Jack Reppin, his first, teach third. Returning for the comments, number 20, Josh Evans. The Zebra's calling you 30 second timeout. Yeah. 
Zebra shooting foul number three, Davis Rainey, his first, team's fourth. Josh Evans at the line. Comment substitution number 12, Gage Thomas, and for the Zebras, 32, Grant Clark. Zebra foul, 34, rough at his second. Team's fifth. Josh, Josh Evans back to the line to shoot the bonus foul shots. Zebra foul, 32, Clark, his third. Max Summers to shoot the bonus. <laughs> Returning for Kaskin, number 11, Person Harness. Yeah. 
His first. Checking in the comment lineup, number 10, Reed Summers. second timeout. Summers his second. Team second.
Comet foul number 10, Reed Summers, his third. Timeout, Comets. This will be a 60 second timeout. Summers, his first. Jonas Kaiser to complete the three point play.
Comet foul, number five, Drew McGrew, his second, team's fifth. Davis Reed to shoot the bonus. Back on the court for the comments, number 13, Cameron Klingler. This will be a 30 second timeout. Zebra foul, number 12, Hong Kong, his second, team's first. McGrew at the line, is she one more? Zebra foul, 32, Clark, his fourth. Returning to the court for the Zebras, number five, Brady Coleman.
Comic foul, number 10, Reed Summers, his fourth. Team's first to the quarter. The Zebras call a 60 second timeout.
At this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with a playing of our national anthem. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester Community High School for this afternoon's varsity matchup between the Cast and Comets and your Rochester Zebras. Both teams come into the contest with a record of four and six on the season. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups first for the Comets. At guard, a six-foot senior, wearing number three, Carter Klingler. At guard, a five-foot, 11-inch senior, number four, Talon Zeiger. At 
guard, a six foot one inch senior, number 11, Caleb Stinson. At a forward, six foot two inch freshman, number 15, Lane Hook. And at center, a six foot three inch senior, number 21, Grant Yadin. The comments are coached by Carl Davis, assisted by Chuck Evans, Heath Gearhart, and Braden Chandler. And now, let's meet the starters for your Zebras. At guard, 5'8 junior, number two, Drew Bowers. At guard, six foot junior, number 20, Owen Prater. At a forward, six foot sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock. At forward, six one junior, number 23, Bryce Walker. And at center, six foot, two inch junior, number 11, Tanner Reynolds. The Zebras are coached by Rob Malko, assisted by Luke Smith and Rex Reinhold. Oh, you got four bench guys who all kind of have their role and, and can help out a little bit. Now quickly uh, give us, I know the Rochester wrestling team is in uh, the TRCs and they've got about eight wrestlers advanced to the championship. Right, and right now they lead with 219 points. McConaughey is second with 177. Final round just about to start. All right. We'll keep you up to date on that Rochester as we go through. Rochester going for a four-peat okay. in the TRC. By the way, the road team has won the last four cast in Rochester games. The tip, road team. The tip being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid America and it's controlled by the cast in Comet. Klinger will have it. Klingler will go to the right side now. Three ball on the way for Stinson to start the thing. And he misses, but off to the rebound is Yaden. Yaden gets it, kicks it back out. Caston still with possession. Now to Klingler. Top the key. Klingler will run the offense. He'll bring it to the near side. Now to Stinson. Back to Klingler. Rochester in that 2-3 zone. Klingler switches spots with uh, Stinson. Now they go to the right side in the corner. Three ball on the way by Zider is good. Three point basket. It's one thing about the casting comments, they're not afraid to shoot the ball either. Zebra's going to have to play some good defense. Well, he doesn't need much space. That's no. the thing. Here is Prater on the other end. That's partially blocked by Hook and Caston with the rebound. Here goes Caston. They kick it out. It's going to be Zider on the far side. Step back three again. Six nothing all of a sudden. Caston leads Rochester. Minute gone by. That was Steph Curry type stuff. Yeah. Uh, just Here. a quick a quick rhythm dribble to get himself open and then bombs away. Prater, top of the key. Prater in the paint. Fade away jumper. No good. Rebound comes away to Yaden. Yaden gives it off. Here comes Kasten. Back to Yaden. Now uh, this side near to Klingler. Down low to Hook. Hook is up and good. And it's 8-0. 6.30 to go here in this opening quarter. Here is Reinerts. Reinerts first touch of the basketball in a minute and a half. He gets it back again. Pull up jumpers. Good. Top of the key. Reinerts. Reinerts puts the zebras on the board. Eight to two now. Caston leads on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. All the guys are wondering about bouncing back from last night. Tanner's the one just because yeah. he had to go up against uh, Betton yeah. all night last night. Hook I'm sure down. He, I imagine he slept well. Hook down low is double teamed. He gives it back off to Yang Yang. Goes to the hole up. No good. And the rebound put back by Klingler. Klingler gets his first two of the day. Well, that's not a good sign, especially with how much Rochester struggled on the boards last night. Bogger down in the corner. Bogger dribbles back out. He'll run it to the left side. Here's Pollock. Three on the way for him. Hard off the back of the iron. Ball's tipped around. Fought for and last touched by... The officials will converge and say Zebra basketball. Prater with a big battle there to try to get that. Just a great effort play by Prater as he, Stinson thought he had him yeah. walled off and he didn't. And I can tell by uh, at least the way that play looked out, these officials are going to let him bang around a little bit. 
Here is Bowers with the basketball into the paint. Oh, and as I say that, we get a quick whistle. It's the Vowel hey, that's on you. <laughs> that's the Randy jinx. Uh, apparently, we have the reversed radio jinx. We did it a few times last night, and Zyre picks up his first team first. 5.30 to go. Here's a two-shot by Prater off the mark, and the rebound pulled down by Zyder. Well, Owen didn't shoot much last night. He was in foul trouble most nights, making up for lost time. Here is Stinson. Stinson kicks it back out. Now back up top is Zyder. Zyder comes to the near side now to Klingler. Bass is tipped, picked up by Bowers. Good defense by Bogger. Bowers with the basketball for the Zebras. Free throw line goes down low to Prater, up and too hard, no good. Rebound fought for it, and Kasten comes away with it. What a pass by Bowers. Yeah. A no-look bounce pass. I, I, faked me out. I thought it was going somewhere else. Oh, that Hook, was beautiful. Hook with the basketball. I thought he was going to go to the corner. I didn't even see Prater cutting there. Nice cut by Prater. Just couldn't finish. Top of the key now is Stinson. Now into the corner. Three ball on the way for Zyder. Good. Three-point basket. Zyder. Zyder's got nine of the 13. Quickly downs Rochester. Bowers with the basketball into the paint, off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for, and Prater's going to get called for a shoving as he went for the rebound. His first he team first. Number 20, Owen Prater. His first. So this boy Zyder's got that quick release. You have to fight through sc screens and communicate through screens. We got a timeout, a 30 second timeout Time for out, the Zebras, Zebras with 437 to go here in the first quarter. Caston leads 13 to 2. Zebra's gonna pick up in a, about half court trap. Here's that comes across. Stolen by Reinerts. Tanner has the basketball. Tanner here on the near side. Tanner spin move down low, kicks it out. Three on the way for Prater off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for, and we're gonna have a foul. And I believe. Nope. And they're going to call it on Rochester, and it's going to be on Bogger, his first team second. And that will bring in another substitution for Kasten, and that's going to be number 10, Mollenkoff. So it'll be a Kasten basketball with 420 to go here. Speaking of quarterbacks on the football team. Yeah. Gavin is quarterback for the Comets. And Zyder has it. Right side, Zyder into Molenkoff. Molenkoff kicks it back out. They move one more pass to Craig. Three on the way off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for it. Tanner gets it. Quick outlet to Prater. Prater to Bogger. Bogger at the paint, loses it. Stripped by Kasten. Here what comes a, what Stinson. What a steal by Stinson. Yeah. Stinson between the legs against Prater. Goes up to the hole, no good. And they're going to wave it off. They're going to say the foul was before. The shot, so it'll be on the floor, it'll be out of bounds, and Zero that'll be Owen Prater's second. second. Again, Prater finding third. himself in quick foul trouble here. The just ha oh, just over the halfway Dylan point. Hook. Hook will come in for Prater. And the help just was late. Yeah. The inbounds passes to Stinson, and he goes up Dylan and good. Stinson. 15 to 2. Here is Bowers with the basketball. Bowers into Hook. Dylan Hook kicks it back out. Here is Bogger. Bogger, top to Bowers. He'll fire three straight away. Good. Bowers. Drew Bowers cuts it to 10. 15 to 5 now. Zebras trail. Drew scored 16 last night but did not hit a three. I don't think he even attempted a three no. last night. Here is Molenkoff. He kicks it back out. Cast him back up to the top. Thrown over the top. It's going to be an over and back call, and Caston will turn it over. Zebras will have it right in front of the Caston bench. Well, that's the one thing that hasn't gone oh, right. They're going to actually say it's down on down at the baseline. Okay. It's three turnovers for Caston, only one for Rochester. Yeah. Caston leads by 10. So Bowers will trigger the inbound. Gets it into Tanner. Tanner. That's well defended by yeah. Stinson because yeah. that was a cross screen play designed to get Bogger open. Bogger top of the keys, open for three, no good. And Stinson with another rebound. Stinson will bring it up. Stinson, top of the key, goes around Pollock, throws up and off the glass, and no good. Rebound to Tanner. Reinerts quickly out to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball, right down the middle. He goes to hook up off the oh, glass, good. Pass. Another no look pass by Drew Bowers. And it's 15 to seven. Here is a tip pass stolen by Hook. Bowers got the tip. Bowers to the hole. Down now to Bogger. Bogger up off the glass is good. Bogger with two more. And it's 15 to nine. 
Zebra's like, putting in some pressure on getting some turnovers. Just like that, a 7-0 run. And there's a kick ball. And the Caston will maintain possession right in front of the Zebra bench. Coach Davis going back to the bench. And he'll bring in number five, Corbin Smith. And sitting down will be Yaden. They inbound it to Smith. Smith has it in the corner. Smith gets it off to Stinson. Stinson, cross-court pass over to Mollenkopf. Mollenkopf against uh, Pollock. Zebra's fought through the screen much better there. Kicks it back out. There's a tip stolen by Reinerts. Tanner with the basketball to the hole up off the glass and good. Timeout, Gaston. Zebra's on a big run and they've cut it to four. Gaston leads 15 to 11 with a 30 second timeout by the Comets with two minutes to go here on Giant FM and RTC TV. You can four. cheat. It's like you think he's out, of, he's not there, but then he's there where you think he's yeah. not there. I mean, he, he could cheat into the on the wing and then come in and steal the pass in the middle and uh, the pressure has really affected Caston. Five turnovers already, they're up by four. Caston has it, they get it across the timeline and finally get it back over to Zyder now. Zyder top the key, Zyder into Mullenkopf. Kicks it back out to Hook, Hook for the Comets, goes to the hole, no good, gets his own rebound, back up and good. Lane Hook with two more, he's got four and it's 17 to 11. Bowers quickly down for Rochester. Throws up a quick jumper in the lane. No good. Lane Hook with the rebound. Here comes the Comets. Top of the key. That's uh, Stinson. And Stinson is going to be called for a charge. And guess who took it? You know it. <laughs> Tanner Reinerts. Tanner's doing a great job. He had a couple of those last night. He's willing to give up his body for the team. Six turnovers for Caston, one for Rochester, but it's the Comets who lead by six. Here's Pollock with the basketball. Over the top to Tanner. Tanner fakes the three, steps in, kicks it back out to Barker. From the corner, three on the way, no good. Rebound, lane hook for Caston. Yeah, good job by Hook. He got a body in yeah. somebody. And that's lane. the thing about lane, too. He can handle it a yeah. little bit. I mean, he's, he's comfortable with the ball in his hands, which you don't see for a 6'3", six, 6'4", six, freshman oftentimes. Zyder has it. Zyder. Into Mullenkopf, kicks it back to Zyder, top of the key to Stinson. This side to Lane Hook. Comets move the ball around the top of the key. Back over to Zyder, now into the corner. Over the top, Zyder gets it back, now to Hook, left wing. Hook will fire a three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound, Pollock. Carson Pollock with the basketball. He'll push it, kicks it out to Reinerts. Reinerts, three, fading away, and it'll go out of bounds, and it'll be back to Caston. Yeah, you could tell. Didn't have his feet set on that one. Right. Coming back in for the Comets will be number three, Klingler, and 21, Yaden. I should mention the Caston's got a home game Monday night against West Central. That's a reschedule. Okay. They were supposed to play West Central last Saturday. So wide open hook underneath as they break the press. He misses it. And a quick rebound for Rochester. They give it out to Bowers. Top the key. Now over to Bacher. Bacher has it into the paint. Bacher, one double, and good to foul. Bacher with two more. And a foul coming against the Comets. And it's going to be whistled on... Comet foul. Yaden, yep, first. his first. Go ahead and finish your, uh, your thought there, Val, about Caston West Central. It was supposed to be played last Saturday. Okay. It was postponed because of the weather, and they hadn't rescheduled it until earlier this morning, and it'll be played on Monday night. All right. It's coming Monday the 22nd. Locker with a free throw good. 17-14. Caston with a three-point lead. Press put on by the Zebras. Stinson will break it. Stinson. Kicks it out, tried to go to Hook, but Pollock steals it ahead to Barker. Barker, spin move at the buzzer, no, and that's going to do it. At the end of the first quarter, Caston owns a three-point lead. We almost had the highlight film of the year by Bryce Barker. What, where did that come from? 17-14 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with the second quarter after this, you're listening to High School Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV. To Owen Prater, top 10 academically in the junior class. And shout out to Carlos Placencia, who's a JV player, top 10 in the academically in the sophomore class. Awesome. Some smart kids out there. Yeah. Zebras will start with the basketball. Bowers will bring it across the timeline. I'll have to increase my <laughs> interview question. <laughs> there uh, you go. Yeah, you're gonna difficulty. To, yep, we're going to have to make them a little more harder. Looks like Caston in a 2-3 zone this time as they start the second quarter. 
Walker now off to Pollock. Pollock right side. Now down in the corner to Bowers. Bowers has it. Top to Reinert. Steps inside to three. Shot on the way. Good. Reinert has six. 17-16. The Zebras have cut the lead now just to one for the Comets. Quickly ahead. Pollock with the steal. Pollock has it down in the other end. Kicks it out to Reinert. Reinert head fakes. Goes to the hole. Throws up a jumper over the front of the iron. Good. What a turnaround in this game. I mean, from a 13-point deficit to leading. 18-17, Zebras lead by one. And it's all because of the energy they've got here in this trap and zone pressure. Here's a three ball on the way for Zyder, and he Zyder. just nails it. Zyder's got four threes on the afternoon. And none of them have even touched the rim. 2018, Caston leads by two with just a minute gone by here in this second quarter. Hook. Into the paint, hook over the top, too hard, and the rebound comes away to Yaden. Yaden looks to push. He gets it ahead to Klingler. Klingler travels. Nope, they're going to call a blocking foul. And the foul is going to be whistled against Carson Pollock, and that's going to be his first. His second. Nope, I guess I missed one. His second. Team first of the quarter. Stinson back in, and sitting down will be Zyder. Did you have Carson for two? I am for one. That's what I thought. Prater two, Bogger one. Pollock. Inbounds pass tipped by Reiners into the hands of Bowers. Bowers then is going to be tripped, and Stinson's going to pick up his second team first. I mean, let me say this. They announced one of those fouls for Bogger. I thought it was on Pollock. Yeah. So maybe you know, we'll have to wait and see. But that's now Caston dealing yeah. with some foul problems with Stinson with two. He's... He's their point guard. Yep. Coach Douglas told me, or uh, excuse me, Coach Davis told me this morning he's a gambler uh, with foul trouble, so he'll he'll leave him out there. Casting 2-3 zone. Reinhardt's three on the way. Good. From that left side. Zebra's back to a one-point lead, 21-20. 6.20 to go here before halftime. Here's trapping on the near side that Casting gets rid of it, gets it over to the far side now to Klingler. Klingler going to be tied up. Nope, he gets rid of it just in time. And now he goes into the middle of the hook. Hook kicks it back out. Stinson, right side, three on the way. No good. Battle for the rebound. Still loose. And Reinhardt comes away with it. Quickly ahead to Bogger. Bogger going to the hole. Up off the glass is good. Bogger's got seven. Let's start with a good box out by Drew Bowers, of all people, yeah. who really stuck his nose in there, was able to tip it out. Zebra's having the energy here. Still in that trap. They get it across. Caston still has a little trouble with that. Stinson has it now in the half court. Yeah, that, that doesn't count the stats for Drew, but yeah. it was Reinerts who got the rebound, but that was a good play. Good play by Pollock in defense. Pollock tips it away from Dylan, or excuse me, from Lane Hook. Goes up and a foul. And count it for Bogger. <laughs> Bryce Bogger feeling himself. I mean, the play at the end of the first quarter was crazy, and that was even better. Give it to him. He's feeling it. And that foul was on Lane Hook, his first, team's second of the quarter. And Prater comes back in, and Tanner Reinertz will sit down. As sitting down for Caston, I believe, was Klingler. Walker looking for his free throw, got it. Bryce having a heck of an afternoon. Puts the Zebras up 26-20. He'll get a breather as Jonas Kaiser now will come in to replace him. Zebras in the man press. Now they go over to the trap in the corner. Ooh, dangerous Prater pass by Evans. Just misses there. to the steal. Here's Zyder with it. Kicks it out to Lane Hook. Now to the near side over to Evans. Josh Evans is the one that checked in. They go down low to Yaden. Yaden's shot no good. Rebound. Comes away to Pollock. Great pass by Stinson. Gets it off to Prater. But Prater. Yaden didn't have an angle on the backboard, really. Pollock will fire three just off the mark. Prater with a rebound, and they're going to call a foul against Caston. They're going to say it was before the shot. I'm not sure how it was before the shot when he was going up, but that's what he says. And that's going to be on Yaden, his second. Team third. Coach Malko is asking about it as well. Mullenkoff and number 12, Alex Craig, checks in for Caston. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Over the top to Prater, gets it in. Now they go to Kaiser. Back to Bowers. 
Bowers back to Kaiser, right side. Kaiser in the free throw lane. Jump shot, up, no good. Rebound fought for. Casting comes away with it. Stinson has it. Stinson looking to push here on the near side. Stinson, spin move in the lane. Throws up a shot, no good. And her hook with Dylan Hook for Rochester with the rebound. And now gives it up. Here is Prater with it. Prater right down the middle. Volleyball line jumper on the way, no good. Rebound still being fought for. And comes away to Molenkoff. Molenkoff, he'll bring it down the, across the timeline. 4.20 to go here in the second quarter. And we get a travel right in front of the official by Talon Zider. Turnovers 11 to 1. Wow. And the problem for Caston is that it's getting Rochester's fast break going and they can't keep Rochester out of the paint. I mean, even, these, even those last two shots Rochester's missed, you'll take those shots every time. 26-20, Zebra's lead here with 4.10 to go in the second. Powers into Kaiser, free throw line, kicks it back out to Hook. Hook has it, top the key to Kaiser. Here's Bowers, right wing, off the mark, no good. And Lane Hook from the Comets with the rebound. Four rebounds for Hook. Hook gives it up to Zeiner, or to Stinson, back to Hook. Hook travels. Yeah, that was a little late whistle, but he got it right because he took it out the extra step. He was looking for something, and it, the play was slow to develop, so Lane gets called for the turnover, but I'm not sure that was on Lane. That, that, was, yeah. that was necessarily Lane's fault. That was just looked like a miscommunication. Jack Ruffett checks in for the first time here this afternoon. Back in for Rochester also was Reinerts and Bacher. Here's Tanner with the basketball. Reinerts around the screen. 26-20, Zebra's lead. Here's Ruffett from the corner, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Mullenkoff. Mullenkoff will bring it up. Kaiser tries to wrap around and tip it out. Can't get to it. Now here's Zider with it. Zider back up top to Stinson. Comes to the near side now to Craig. Craig back to Stinson. Now to Zider. Craig left side. They're trying to go down low to Lane Hook. And Dylan Hook playing great defense. Ruffett on Zider. Ruffett's got to fight through if they set any screens. Here's top of the key now. Here's Mullenkoff. Now to the near side. It's Craig. Craig holds it. Goes down low to Dylan, or it's going down low to Lane, and Dylan's going to get whistled for the, his first foul. We got a hook. We got a hook on hook foul. Dylan hook on hook. First hook hooked. Hook hooked. Hook hooked him. <laughs> so hook will come out, and Drew Bowers will come back in, and Lane Hook also comes out. Here's Craig, he gets it in to Yaden, and we're gonna have a pushing foul, and Yaden will go to the line to shoot two. Wait and see who they whistled that on. And that looks like it's gonna be Reinhardt's, his first. Team number three, but Yaden will go to the line to shoot two shots. Yaden yet to score. In 2004 and in 2020, Rochester lost here to Caston in double overtime both years. And both times, Rochester went on to win the sectional that year. Oh. That's a weird that coincidence. Is weird. That is a weird coincidence. They the lead by five here, 26-21. Yaden of course, Rich in 2020, Caston won their sectional as well. Free throws missed. Rebound comes to the Zebras. Bowers with it. Bowers quickly down, and Bowers is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Yaden, and he's going to pick up three. Oh and God. the team's fourth. His and I'm going to guess he's going to come out as Coach Davis goes to the bench. And he'll bring Corbin Smith back in, and Yaden will sit down. 2.58 to go here before halftime. 26-21 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Rochester leads. The handoff is to Bowers. Bowers kicks it back up top. Here's Bryce with it. Bryce back to Bowers. Bryce, top the key, dribbles in, kicks it out. The Zebras moving the ball quickly. Ref it, straight away three, in and out, and back in. Ref it with his first points. That was a tough afternoon. shot. That was not an easy shot. 29-21. It was actually a tougher shot than the one he missed from the left corner. <laughs> it was. Here comes Caston. They penetrate in, and the ball is going to be Great knocked. play by Ref it. Jack on the baseline, knocking it loose, and Mullenkoff steps on the out-of-bounds line. Jack put his foot on that baseline and wasn't allowing Mullenkoff to go around him. Man press by the Comets. Here's Reinerts, throws over to the top to Bowers. Bowers 
reels it in. Now goes over to Bacher, into the corner. Ref it wide open, three, short. And the rebound comes away to Craig. Nice close up by Mollenkoff. Stinson with it atop the key. Stinson now over to Zyder. Zyder against Bowers. Now they can bring it back over to Craig. Craig top the key. Two minutes to go here in a second. Stinson has it now into the corner to Craig. Craig has it back up top to Stinson. Stinson goes to Zyder. He'll fire a deep three. That was off the mark. Rebound fought for. Tanner Reinerts comes away with it. Ahead to Bowers. Bowers to Reffitt. Three straight away. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Alex Craig. Zebras will be in man this time down. They give it up to Zyder. Zyder to Stinson, left side. Stinson around the screen. Stinson will go to the hole, fades back away, throws it up off the glass, Great no good. Great defense by Bogger. Rebound Zebras, quickly ahead. Here's Bogger again. Bogger has it. Top of the key, now down low to Reffitt. Kicks it out. Bryce, three ball on the way, off the mark, no good. And Stinson with the rebound. Stinson has it, he'll bring it up the timeline. Stinson, spin move, into the paint, underhand layup, up, no good. The rebound comes away to Smith. Smith shot, no good. Ref it with a rebound. No numbers. Here's Kaiser kicks it back out. Tanner Reiner's three, short. Ref it, rebound, 10-footer, good. Ref it. Ref it's got five. And it's 10-point zebra lead, 31-21, with 40 seconds to go before halftime. Kastner scored four points this quarter. I mean, uh, yeah. talking about a difference, first quarter to second defensively. Here goes to the paint. That is Mullenkoff. No good. Rebound Bowers. Ahead to Bacher. Layup up and good to foul. And that's on Stinson. And that'll be three on Stinson. And it is on Stinson, his third. And the team fifth. His third. And Coach Davis to the bench again. And Craig comes out. Stinson comes out. And Klingler and Josh Evans into the contest for Kasten. Also, Lane Hook coming back in. Bacher will have a one more free throw. Well, good things happen when the ball is in Drew Bowers' hands, especially on the fast break, and that was a beautiful pass. And what a turnaround we've had. Free throw, good. From a 13-point deficit to a 13-point lead all in one half. <laughs> 34-21, 20 seconds to go before the halftime. Here's Kasten with the basketball. On the far side, that's Smith. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester, or stay with Kasten in front of the Rochester bench. 32-6. to 15.8 seconds to go. Rochester has scored Kasten 32-6 since they fell behind 15-2. to They look to get it in. They do so to Josh Evans. Oh, Evans has that it. A, that looked like a walk by Evans. Evans gives it up now to Klingler. Back to Evans with eight. And now we're going to have a foul by Kaiser. Kaiser will pick up his, his first. first team's fourth. Only the team fourth, so not, not a bad not, foul. And not a bad foul at all. Worth making a gamble, but now you're. Now no more. Yeah. <laughs> Zyder gets it in. He gives it back over. Here is Evans with it. Evans has it knocked loose by Bowers, out of bounds. 1.7 seconds, still Cass in front of the zebra bench. Kasson can't get a ball reversal. And we get a timeout, and the Comets want a 60. We'll take it as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. 1.7 to get it in. Kasson has it in front of the zebra bench. They get it off to Zyder. Zyder fadeaway jumper on the buzzer, no good. And that'll do it for the first half. The Zebras put 20 on the board in the second quarter, and they lead now at halftime 34-21. When we come back, we'll have the halftime show brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. When we come back, your Zebras lead it 34-21. Giant FM and RTC TV4. One last night, 32-30 over West Lafayette. West Lafayette went 0 for 16 from three. Starting in the third quarter, brought to you again by Farm Credit Mid-America. Kasten starts with the basketball and trailing by 13. Original five on the floor for the Comets and for the Zebras. Here's a it's three a ball on the way and nope, oh, travel first. Klingler called for travel. So it's Klingler, Zyder, Stinson, Hook, and Yaden. And for Rochester, Pollock, Bowers, Prater, Bogger, and Reinerts. Whitco girls have defeated Northfield 47-45. Woo, big battle there. So Whitco wins another close one. And that Northfield team's been coming on. 
Bowers dribbles off his foot, picked up by Lane Hook of the Comets. Here comes the Comets, just the second turnover by Rochester. Now they go into Lane Hook, and Hook has it battled down and picked back up by Yaden. Top of the key, it's Klingler. Now it comes to the near side to Stinson. Back up top to Zyder. Zyder fires a three, no good. Bowers with a rebound, and he's quickly down the floor. Bowers, pull up jumper at the free throw line. Short, ball's tipped around, and Klingler comes away with it. That was good transition defense by Caston yeah. because they covered the wings pretty well and then forced Drew to stop at the foul line. And down low to Lane Hook, guarded by Bocker. Lane Hook for the Comets, kicks it back out to Yaden. Yaden on the other side has it knocked loose by Reinhardt, picked up by Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Pollock off to Reinhardt, down in the corner. They go down low to Prater. Prater, one dribble around the defender, goes up no good, and the rebound comes to Klingler. No well, one can just, just can't buy one today. Klingler with the basketball. Out to Lane Hook. Lane fakes a three, drives the baseline, kicks it out, and it goes right through the hands of Grant Yaden. Substitution number 12, Alex. 16, 16 turnovers to two. Yeah. Zyder comes out and Craig will come in. I mean, when it's that lopsided, you're really lucky to be down by only 13. Right. I guess that's the advantage of having a big 13 yeah. point lead early. Yeah. Here's Reinhardt with the basketball you, for you've Rochester. You've seen some of Lane Hook's skill set. He can post up, but he yeah. can also, you know, jump out to the corner. As Bauer drives the baseline and tries to go to the other post and hits on the out of bounds line. Turnover Rochester. Of course, the Rochester girls will play at Northfield on Thursday night. That's a yeah. Northfield team with uh, two good posts and uh, Hannah Holmes and uh, Ellie Baker. Mollenkopf. Kind of a dime, kind of a dime, yeah, like a 1 yeah. 3 1 look. And they can break it. They get it across into Mollenkopf. Out the top of the key. That's Stinson. Comes to the near side to Craig. Craig has it back to Stinson. Top of the key. It's more like a like a th one two two or three two. Yeah. Locker up top, and he picks up the the ball. Does Craig? Craig gives it to Hook. Back to Craig. You can hear the cast and coaching staff trying to call out the defense as well. It makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> and the shot goes missed. To Bowers with a rebound, quickly ahead to Prater. Prater jump stop, kicks it back out, and the Zebras will reset. They go across over to Bocker. Bocker, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Prater gets the rebound. Prater to Bowers. He'll fire a three. Short. Rebound to Stinson. Stinson will have it. Stinson will bring it across the timeline. 5.15 to go here in the third. 34-21. Still our halftime score. There's Lane Hook. He'll finally get the first points in the second half. He's got six. Comets trail 34-23. Bocker, Price has it on the far side. Now he goes to Prater. Prater against Lane Hook, kicks it back out. Here is Bocker. He'll kick it back out to Prater. Prater and travels, yep. Good defense by Lane Hook. Caston has been much better defensively mm -hmm. the first three plus minutes here in the second half. Here comes the trap by Rochester at midcourt. Part of it is Cass not jumping out of their shoes on yeah. Rochester shot fakes. That, I mean, that's part of it. Zyder has it. Now to Molenkoff. Molenkoff kicks it back out. Quickly to Stenson. Top of the key. Three on the way. Off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound fought for. And Prater will come away with it. But we're going to have a foul on Caston. I believe it's going to be Lane Hook. And it uh, appears to be. Oh, it's going to be his, uh, his second, second team first. first. And Peterson. Dylan Hook Peterson. will come in, Number and Grant four. Clark Dylan will Hook. come in for and the Zebras. Pollock and Prater will sit down. 4.29 to go here in the third, 34-23. Locker gets the inbounds pass. Locker quickly ahead to Clark. Clark on the other side of the timeline. Now we'll wait and give it off to Bowers. Bowers has it. Goes right side. Now reverses it back to Bryce. Bryce goes down low to Clark. Clark then travels. Didn't realize where he was or he lost it in uh, the transition. And a turnover on the Zebras. <laughs> Josh Evans going to come back in for Caston as Lane Hook will sit down. Tanner Reinerts went over and kind of shook Grant's hand and kind of <laughs> give him a little playful slap in the face like, don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> Here is Zyder with the basketball. Now he gives it up to Craig. Craig turns, throws it. Saw a blue uh, shirt. 
And that was Coach Davis on the sideline. He's not in the game. <laughs> Turnover cast it. First four minutes of the second and a half have been kind of out of the twilight zone. Here is Bowers with the basketball. Bowers to Blocker. Blocker goes back door to uh, Reinhardt's, and the ball is tipped by Craig and picked up by Craig. After only one turnover in the first half, that's five in the second half already. We barely played four minutes. Here's Stinson to the hole, up and good. Caleb Stinson with his fourth point of the night. 34-25, Zebras have yet to score here in the second half. And a foul going to be whistled against Mullenkoff. His first team second. Team second. Coming in will be Yaden. He'll replace. Uh, looks like uh, sitting down will be Ziner. Prater comes back in, and Tanner will get a drink. Now cast and pressing full court. And they have been just a lot better defensively. Three and a half to go here in the third. Bowers with it. Bowers, the give and go to Clark, can't get to it, and it's out of bounds, another turnover. Coach Malco says, okay, boys, we're going to create our own energy. We're going to the diamond press. Here it is for Rochester. Over the top, they go quickly down to Evans. Evan is traveled. Yep. Starting to he was Malcolm. looking on the side of his eye. Should yeah. I pass? Should I shoot? And he got a little indecisive there with his feet. Tanner Reinertz uh, is done with that quick break. It lasted a whole Returning five seconds the on the game clock. And Reinerts. now Prater to take it out. 3.19 to go in the third. Right gets the pass. Tanner has it. He is guarded by Molenkoff. His pass to Bowers goes out of bounds. Turnover number seven. Still 3.13 to go in the third. In less than five minutes. Zyder comes back in. Craig will sit down for the Comets. Molenkoff will take it out. Excuse me, that's Evans. We'll take it out. Evans slaps the basketball, puts things in motion. Looking, still looking. Finally finds Zyder. Ball's tipped. It'll go out of bounds. Last touch by Rochester. Caston will have it on the other side of the floor. 3.10 to go here in the third on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Zebras lead 34-25. Zebras have yet to score. Comets only scored four so far in this quarter. Top the key is Stinson. Stinson goes over the top now into Zyder. Zyder back up top to Stinson. Now down in the corner to Evans. Evans falling out of bounds. Throws it away into the hands of Bowers. Bowers gets it off to Reinertz. Bowers down low to Clark. Clark at the block, one dribble. Looking to kick it back out, does to Prater, who's cutting to the basket, and good. Great cut by Owen Prater. Clark saw him coming, got it to him, and Prater gets his first points of the day. Here is Caston on the other end. Stinson, top of the key, and Stinson's going to be fouled, and I believe Prater just picked up another foul, and that's going to be three. And that's his first of the team. Carson Pollock will check back in, and Owen will come out. Well, that's frustrating because the, the last possession, they really hemmed in Stinson mm -hmm. and with Hook and Prater on top, and then lost track there. It just seems like when, uh, whenever Caston has, when they're, whenever they leave their feet, yeah. not many think good things have happened for them. Evans. And, and there have been a lot of their turnovers have been up that type of play. Back door to Stinson. Stinson is out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say Clark was out of bounds when he touched it. It'll stay with Caston as they tried to go back door to Stinson and almost got away with it. Clark comes out. Blocker back in. Yeah, I think Coach Malco trying to reassure Granway as he left the court. But yeah. Three on the way. Blocked by Reinerts, and we're going to have a late foul. And I believe it's going to not be on Reinerts. I think Reinerts got the ball. I think it's going to be. Uh, yeah, well, I think it might have been on the landing. Yep, on um, Pollock. It's going to be on Pollock. And they're going to call it after the shot. So it'll be out of bounds to Caston. Pollock it a, picks up his third. Yeah, it was a clean block by Reinerts. He didn't touch him, I don't think. Yaden has it into the corner. And now Pollock picks up his fourth. And then now Coach Malco is going to have to decide what to do. And he'll bring Grant Clark right back in. His fourth. Returning for the Zebras. Clark back in. Pollock sits down. 
Fourth for Pollock, third for the Zebras in the quarter. 2-12 still remaining. Stinson has it. Stinson across the timeline. Stinson gives it off to Evans. Evans, they give it in the middle to Stinson. Stinson tries to go to Yaden, comes off his head. Stolen by Tanner Reinhardt, but Tanner tries to knock it off of Yaden's legs, but can't do so and steps out of bounds. That was a bizarre play. Yaden kind of almost accidentally knocked it out, out of Reinhardt's hand. He was turning back, and he, and he, but he knocked it off Reinhardt's foot cleanly. He wasn't even trying to. He didn't even know where the ball was. Yeah. Gaten comes out, and Smith comes back in for the Comets. Oh, and they get it in. Now to Stinson. Stinson down in the corner. Stinson throws it back up top. That's Mullenkoff. Out to Zyder. Zyder fakes a three. Now gives it back up to Evans. Evans backs it back out between the circles. you got to play Mullenkoff for the drive. He's not, he's not a shooter. Evans goes into Stinson, kicks it out in the corner. That's... And a quick whistle, and that one's going to be called against Clark. All of a sudden, we're getting a lot of quick, quick, quick fouls. Right. Well, that, that particular official is—he's been consistent on the hand checks. Yeah. Um. 36-25. Zebras still lead with a minute 38, which is to say, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Lane Hook into the paint, gets the inbounds, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Zebra basketball. So Coach Davis wants the full court press put on again. So with a minute 36 to go into third, Zebras will have it to bring the distance. Reinerts ahead to Bacher. Bacher gets it across the timeline. Bryce against Lane Hook. Gives it off to Dylan. Dylan Hook for the Zebras. Up off the glass. Good. Dylan, Dylan Hook's got four. And it's 38-25, back to a 13-point lead. That'll be good for Dylan's confidence. He can Stinson. finish around the hoop. Stinson has it knocked loose into the hands of Bowers. Ahead to Bryce. Bryce hand lay goes for the layup, and a foul coming from Stinson as he blocks the shot. Well, it's a great effort by Caleb. The only problem is this is fourth foul, and I think he yeah. should have been better off just letting Bryce have the layup. And that'll be team fourth. third. Bryce and Bogger back to the line. Bryce, the only one shot free throws for the Zebras so far this afternoon. This will be his first pair. Makes the first one. Okay, that was a nice looking free throw. Three, Klingler comes back in and Stinson will sit down. Bryce is four for four today and clearly he's been practicing his free throws. That's <laughs> we gave him a new free throw technique over Christmas and he's Way to go, Val. Yeah, yeah. Jinx Sorry. Val misses the second one. 39-25, 60 seconds to go. Zebras, three-quarter court press put on. They get it across and gets it across. Oh, very lucky. Yeah. Dylan Hook got a hand on that ball, but Mollenkopf able to recover. There is Zyder with it. Now down the corner, Lane Hook for three. Good. Three-point basket. Hook. Lane Hook. 39-28. Here's a steal. And a steal right back. Ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts over the top of the front of the rim is good. Reinerts has 13. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. 10 turnovers this quarter by Caston. Zyder. There have been 19 combined turnovers this quarter. Klingler now ahead to Smith. Smith has it. He's double teamed. Kicks it back out. Here's Klingler for three. Off the side of the iron. It'll go out of bounds. Nope. Saved by Hook. Here's Zyder. Three ball off the mark. Clark and Reinerts battle for it. They didn't realize it was each other. Finally ahead, Dylan Hook at the other end. Wide open layup up and good. <laughs> Hook was able to, to leak out. Got the wide open layup. And at the end of the third quarter, the Zebras now lead 43-28. Back with the fourth and final quarter after this here on Giant FM and RTC. TV cast in basketball and being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. Leading the way for the Zebras right now, Bryce Bonker has 14, Tanner has 13, so a big, big uh, quarter there for the Zebras maintaining their lead, leading 43-28. Turnover is the, is the story of that quarter. Yeah, 10 for Caston, 9 for Rochester just in that quarter, and Caston up to 23 for the game. 
Kasson with the basketball. Zebras still trying to draw their own own energy as they put the press on, and Prater yeah. just fouled out. Right? No, fourth. That's just his fourth. All right. My apologies. Prater picked up his fourth, team first of the quarter. And I was just going to say, when is Carl Davis going to go back to Stinson? And now. <laughs> now. And probably with Prater in foul trouble, he thinks, well, Caleb can be a little more, yeah. you know, Owen can't be as frisky defensively. Stinson so inbounds now. it. Here's three on the corner for Zyder. No good. Dylan Touchdown. Hook with a rebound. Hook ahead to Prater. Prater gives it off to Bowers. He'll bring it across the timeline right in front of the Zebra bench. Bowers looking. Got a hook in the corner. Hook goes to the hole. Layup up and good. All of a sudden, Dylan Hook. He's got his confidence back, and he's got eight on the afternoon. Dylan's trying to be the highest scoring hook in this game. <laughs> Seven, 15 left to go here in the contest, and Caston throws that one out of bounds. Another turnover on the Comets. Yeah. Zebras will have it. Coach Davis is going to get a lot of mileage out of this tape because of <laughs> how Rochester is defending Caston at the top. And again, it's, it's a long season. We should mention Caston. Yes, Caston is four and six. Yeah. They have the best record of any team in their sectional. I didn't, and I did not stutter. They have the best record of any team in their sectional. Zyder right now picking up his second. Team's first. And no, they lost that heartbreaker at home to Frontier on a yeah. last second three, and Frontier knocked them out of sectionals last year. I mean, I'm not going to say their sectional is going to be an easy ride. Here's a steal by the Comets. Shot goes up by Craig. No good. But a foul coming against Bowers, and that'll send Craig to the line to shoot two. Zebra shooting foul, number two, Bowers, his first. Alex Craig looking for his first points of the afternoon. Alex Craig at the line. Zebra's lead, 45-28, with 7.06 to go here in the contest on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. You know, uh, Tri-County won the sectional last year. I think they had a coaching change. They're a little, a little bit in rebuilding mode. Yeah. Frontier had a coaching change. West Central had a coaching change. Of course, Caston sees West Central on Monday night. They'll get a look at them. Second free throw is good for Craig. Uh, South Newton, by all accounts, is really struggling. Here's Zebras with the basketball. Bowers has it. Bowers to the hole, kicks it out to Hook. The pass is stolen. Here comes Caston. Caston with the basketball. That's Stinson. Stinson into the middle, throws up a running jumper off the mark. No good. Reinhardt's battles, Reinhardt's battles for the rebound and a foul coming. Did Stinson just foul out or is it on hook? Nope, Stinson just fouled out. Comment foul number 11. Stinson Caleb Stinson fouls dead. out with four points on the afternoon. Returning for the college and for coming three, in will be Klingler. Klingler. Tough day for Caleb, but he's going to bounce back. Uh, he is, he's a competitor. He's Caleb, also a heck of a baseball player. He's their center fielder. Reinerts will bring it up the sideline. Reinerts goes into the middle, steps back. 15 footer, good. Coach Malco wants a full time out. Tanner now with the lead of 15 points for the Zebras. The lead at 47 29, 6.39 to go. Back with more after this Giant FM and RTC TV4. After the Zebra timeout, Castle will have the basketball. Evans back into the lineup for the Comets. Ball is tipped, stolen by the Zebras. There's Ryan Bowers. Down low to Barter, up off the glass. Good Bryce for Bryce. Parker from Bowers. Bryce now the leading scorer right now for Rochester with 16. Here's over the pass, stolen by Dylan Hook. Dylan Hook to Parker, head fake, up off the glass. Good to foul. Parker. Two more. And that foul is going to be called against Callan Zider. His third. Third, team second. And, and Lane Hook will sit down. Reed and Summers. 23, Reed Summers comes into the ball game. So Reed Summers checking in. He came off the JV squad. Auger, free throw good. 52-29, Zebras will bounce back now into the man. Yeah, I was going to say Coach Malcolm probably going to take the press off. I think, he, I think he wanted to set the press up with Stinson fouling out. Yeah. And, uh, I think there's not a whole lot to be gained 
by pressing now. Top of the keys, point. Klingler. Now to Yaden. Now back to Klingler. Back over to Zyder. Zyder with the basketball to Evans. Top of the key. They sing it to Summers. Down low. Now to Yaden. Ball's knocked out of bounds by Reinerts. 52-29, to go. Gavin Molikoff. Molikoff. Of, uh, four straight games against 1A opponents for the Zebras. You got Caston, Northfield, North White, Southwood. Okay. Let's see if the Zebras can get in a little bit of a run here. Yeah. Um, and I don't believe any of those teams have winning records. I know Southwood's been struggling a little yeah. bit of late. I think they've fallen under 500. Kaiser comes in, and Reinhardt will sit down. North White has been... Of course, North White's on cast in sectional. I mean, North White, they're, they got a new coach this year. They're young. Here goes Zyder to the hole, and he gets the bucket and a foul. And that foul is going to be called against Bowers, his second team third of the quarter. And that'll put Zyder at the line. Craig will come back in for Evans. Talent Zyder at the line to shoot one. Zyder. First free throw of the afternoon for him. Again, that's a good sign that Talon Zyder can finish that play because Talon's going to get run off the three-point line by a lot of teams. Free throw is good. I mean, just watch the first quarter of this film. 52-32, a 20-point zebra lead. Here is Bowers into Dylan Hook. Hook into the paint, bounces it off the back iron, and good. Hook now into double digits. 54-32, Yaden wide open underneath. Up and good for him. Comet basket, Yaden. 54-34. Bogger with the basketball to a cutting Prater up off the glass, good. Prater. Owen Prater. Nice pass by Bogger. Yeah, that was a really nice pass. Under five to go here in the contest. I think Coach Malco just wants to see some good half court man yeah. defense here. I mean, it's one thing to press and Force turnovers, but well, look some up. solid positioning. Up off the glass, no good, but Yaden with a rebound. Coach Malco won't like that. An easy rebound for Caston. Craig will fire a three and nail it. Craig. Alex Craig has four points. 56 37. Caston still putting on pressure. Hook has it, gives it to Prater. Bobbles it, still has it. And now Jonas Kaiser at the other end travels. Uh, and that'll bring in Smith for Caston. He'd win the 100 meter dash doing that. <laughs> but not basketball. No, that doesn't work in basketball. No. Have to give a shout out to uh, Wesley Steininger, senior from Rochester, 200 individual medley TRC champion today awesome. at Maconaqua. Congratulations. Good for him. Yeah, well, Wesley's had a good year. He, Lily Scholar. Here is Zyner with the basketball. He leaves it off for Smith. Smith up too hard, and the rebound comes to Dylan Hook. Hook for the Zebras will give it to the Kaiser. Now to Prater. Prater down at the other end. Prater goes around Evans to the glass. Up and good. Oh, and Prater now with six points. 58-37, Zebras lead with 3.45 to go here in the contest. Zyder, three on the way. Good. Timeout, Coach Evans. Zyder. And it's 58-40. And it is a, I'm waiting to see what it did. It looks like a 30-second timeout. Nope, 60. We'll take it as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball as they lead 58-40. Giant FM and RTC TV here. As you said, they, they play again Monday. So working on some things to make sure that they understand because they won't get a practice in before Monday. Right, obviously. and I just want to finish strong. Zebras break the press easily this time here, and Reffitt's back into the ball game. Reffitt gives it off to Kaiser. Kaiser loses it. Good defense by Hook. And here comes the, Z or the casting comets. L lane hook, that is. Yeah. Three on the way for Zyder is good. Three point basket. Zyder. Zyder. How do you lose Talon Zyder? Yeah. That's one of the things I'm sure Coach Malco is going to be talking about. And here's Hook at the other end. No good. Tipped out to Bacher. Bacher free That's throw. That's not line. a good shot nope. at all. Forced it. And the casting comes away with the, top, the rebound. Here is Summers with it. Now off to Zyder. Or excuse me, that it, yeah, up Zyder. Zyder brings it to the near side now to Molenkoff. Molenkoff has it to Lane Hook. Hook to Summers. Over to Zyder. Zyder goes down low to Smith. Knocked loose by Prater. Prater with a steal. Prater will bring it back out. Coach Malco 
Wants to run some clock here with 2.40 to go. 58-43, the Zebras lead. Prater, Prater, Barker, and Reffitt look like will be the guards handling the basketball out front here for the Rochester Zebras as Caston looking to try to put some press on. And the Zebra is going to play a little hot potato, keep the ball moving. Prater into the paint, wide open, goes up and can't get it to fall. Battles for the rebound, and he'll dribble back out. And he's going to be called for a double dribble. Clark and Reinhardt's back in. Hook and Kaiser will sit down. Also coming back in will be Evans. Evans will come in for Molenkoff for Caston. Again, stay with us later this evening, about 535, 540, somewhere in that neighborhood. We will have um, the pregame for the Rochester Zebras and the Manchester Lady Squires. That game coming up this evening, the 6 o'clock tip. So come on out to Rochester High School and enjoy some more basketball. If you can't make it, we'll be here. Not going anywhere. Here's Lane Hook, three from the top of the key, no good. Prater with a rebound. Over the cop to Tanner. And Coach Malco wants to pull it out, but uh, oh, just sloppiness saved it. by Reinerts. Yeah. Zyder almost got that. Reffitt has it over the top now to Reinerts. Minute 40. Here to go in the, the contest. Again, it really helps to work on the delay game just because they haven't had, right. even in the games they've won, they haven't been kind of nail biters. Now to Reinerts. Reinerts, Prater, and Reffitt out front handling the basketball. And a foul coming on Yaden. Yaden going to pick up his fourth. That's going to the team third. Foul, 21, Yaden, his fourth. Team's fourth. And four, four on the team. Yep, sorry. Carson Pollock back on the court. So Pollock will come in and replace Reffitt. Congratulations to Wyatt Davis of Rochester, TRC champion, 150 pounds, wrestling. Good for him. Congratulations to Brant Beck, Rochester, TRC champion, 165 pounds. Zebras get it in. Carson Pollock has it. And a quick foul on Summers. Alex Deming in a battle with Preston Duffy of Manchester as we speak. Tied two all in the third period. Comment foul, 23. Reed Summers, his first. Team's fifth. Reed Carson Summers Pollock picking up his first. So the free throw on the way for Carson Pollock. Has not scored yet here this afternoon, but... Played a heck of a ball game. First free throw is good. Luke Malco will come in and Tanner Reinerts will sit down. 59-43. And Coach Davis gonna bring in some substitutions as well. For the comments, and Josh Evans, uh, Max Summers, and 33 Carson Harness. And entering for the Zebras, number three, Davis Reed. Carson Harness's dad, a very good and player at Caston back in the day, Hunter back in the late 90s. Of course, Carson's sister, Bailey, also, graduated last spring. Yeah. Also in for Rochester, Mullen, or, uh, Han Comp and Reeney checking in for Rochester. Clark in as well. Clark, or Pollock with his second free throw is good. Carson in the scorebook with two free throws. 60, 43, minute 20 to go. Here is Summers with the basketball, top to hook, over to Summers. Summers now over to Harness. Swing it to the far side. Here's, that is Evans. Into the paint goes Reed Summer. Clark with the rebound, gives it off to Davis Reaney. Davis will bring it across under a minute to go. For, for the weather being 15 degrees outside and a lot of summers going on. <laughs> Quite summery. And Pollock will hold. Pollock now puts it on the floor. Now he goes back to Davis Reaney. Reaney has the basketball with 38 seconds to go. Dribbles in, looking for Pollock, finds him. Gets it back to Pollock. Summers had some spring in his legs, but his shot didn't fall. And with that, I can't say anymore. <laughs> Stricker, help. <laughs> that, uh, that's the old triple pun. I went for it. I uh, landed it. <laughs> uh, he did. He took it, and he uh, give Val the hook, I, I got told. <laughs> hey, we can give him a double hook today. Here's a 
Grant Clark with the basketball. He's going to hold it and dribble, and the time will run out. Your final here this afternoon. The Zebras bounce back after a tough loss yesterday to a big win here this afternoon, 60-43 to over the Caston Comets. We'll come back with a post game brought to you by Perkins and Adley when we come back to Rochester High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV. 